So was football the only sport you played? No, I, I tell you, growing up, uh, at first I played a little basketball, and I wasn't right. too good at it, you know, growing up. But, you know, I used to watch those, uh, you know, Pistol Pete tapes, homework basketball, <laughs> you know, uh, Michael Jordan come fly with right. me. And I really started to, you know, develop a love for basketball, man. And all, all my buddies played, and they were a lot better than I was. You know, I was small at the time. And, you know, by the time we got to ninth grade, I hit a growth spurt. Uh, tenth grade, I was I made the varsity team. You know, so I'm, I'm like, I, I like this basketball thing, right. too. You know, it's all right. You know, and uh, we had a pretty good team. My uh, senior year, we went to the finals, and we, we lost in the finals to a school called West End mm -hmm. out of Alabama. You know, so, uh, you know, basketball was a – you know, it was a pretty big sport. It wasn't like football. Football came right, a lot, right. a lot more natural. But basketball was fun too. So, so can can you can you play it now? You know what? I, I can go out there. <laughs> I, I give you some good minutes. You know, I ain't uh, not what I used to be. Dennis but, Rodman. Uh, you know, I'm more of a Dennis Rodman or Ben Wallace, a hustle player. You know, I got uh, you. you know, I play pretty good defense. I get you some rebounds, and you know, if I'm on, I you know give you a couple couple buckets. But uh, for the most part, I'm I'm a hustle man. Right. So we so we heard the. The personal side, you know, the, the growing up part or whatever, and, and what you did growing up. Let that explain to me your psyche, because when people watch you on that football field, you are—I mean, you're jumping around. I mean, you're, you're getting everybody riled up. You're a live wire. What, 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 <laughs> what is it? I mean, in your mind, what do you do to get to that point and then keep it? Because I mean, it don't go away. We could be <laughs> up twenty, down twenty. Mark is gonna be out there jumping around, ready to go. Man, I'm just—I'm uh, just one of those players, you know. Uh, I just believe that if you're going to do something and you're going to do it well, you got to be excited about it, man. Yeah. You got to be, you got to be enthusiastic about it. And I can remember, you know, watching some of those old NFL films and, you know, Steve Sabol, he come on talking about all the, all the players. And it seemed like all the good players were the hype ones. Right, you know, right, Ronnie right. Lott, you know, yes, Lawrence indeed. Taylor, Lambert, Ray Nischke. And they talk trash too. Mike Singletary, especially at a linebacker. Yeah. You know, you got to be, you got to be ferocious. You got to put it on guys. You got to, and then you got to let them know, you know, what you think about Put your Rydell. You're going to put my Rydell, Rydell on their Rydell, and I'm going to make them like it. Yes, and that's just, I mean, that's just football. When you're on yes, defense, indeed. when you're on defense, you just got to, you got to be all over the place. You just got to be a, a pretty much a maniac out of that. But you got to have some, you know, some control to it too. So I, you know, the first couple of snaps, when I first start the game, I'm out of control. But as the game go along, I can, down you know, it's kind of more of a controlled aggression, you yeah. know, and I can, you know, let it out at certain times. But, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful game, man. I love to play.